Joining me here at uh, Livingston, Hereford manager Josh Cowling. 2-2 uh, draw in the end, reflections on things overall? It's an FA Cup game, isn't it? FA Cup tie uh, against a low league opposition. Um, they started well, obviously scored early. Again, the goal's not great. Um, then obviously we then woke up, scored two good, good goals, really good goals, things we've worked on. Um, then we went from strength to strength. It looked like they'd gone by half time and then we got our second half and we just didn't really get going. My frustration is that you take a 2-1 and then you go home and you take the win. And the goal with the second goal is not good enough. We've played out of the back when we shouldn't have. We should have went direct. Then when we have played out, we took too long on the ball, lost the ball and it's called from it. So again, basic, simple errors. Just bad moments of judgment, lapses of judgment where we should just go direct, away from home, be solid and take and take the result. You have to say you probably you would have converted if you'd converted more of your chances, it would have been a you know, home and host. Yeah, I mean you look at going into half time, you know, you get Probably could be three, four, one up. Game bed, then buried. We said to the lads at the end of the game, and then we come out second half. Ryan's had a good chance. Lloyd's had a good chance. Um, I think uh, Miles had a good chance as well. So I mean, we've had some really good opportunities in front of goal, and we've just not took them. We've probably snatched at home, you know, a lot over the bar wide. Um, on another day, you put them in the back of the net, and you go home, you know, four, five, one. So, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, a couple of debuts out there. Levi Andu for one. Uh, how did you feel he did? Today? Yeah, Levi did really well. Um, goal appeared. He's quick. He nipped in front, good on the ball, switched to play well. So I was pleased with his, with his um, opening performance. And obviously Christian Pierce uh, got over that deal over the line eventually. Um, had to come off after 18 minutes. What's what's the verdict there? Yeah, I think that just sums up when you don't have luck, when it rains, it pours. Um, so Christian's been struggling. He had a little neural injury. Um, he's had it over the last week. Um, he, he thought he'd be all right today, so we put him in. And then after about 20, he just, he just said it just wasn't quite right. So we didn't want to risk him. Um, it was more of a precaution just to make sure he's, he, he's right. So we took him off and, and obviously put Ben on into midfield and put Luke back. What's the sort of time scale on that injury then? Hopefully not too long. Um, I think it's like a neural issue. Obviously, the problem is he's been, he hasn't been a pre-season. I think that's the big thing, isn't it? So Because he's obviously been dealing with the stuff he's been dealing with. He's come in, he's trained a bit. I think he went um, international for a couple of games in the summer. But apart from that, he's not done a great deal. So we know we're going to have to manage him, um, which is why we, we brought him off early, just to make sure that we get him right as soon as possible. Uh, back to a replay at Edgar Street then. Uh, we felt in commentary, certainly, that he got the pace, certainly through my story, to upset Limington. He seemed to rip them apart in the first half. Yeah, but it's again, it's it's both boxes, isn't it? I think that, that that's the big thing. You know, we spoke about we're probably the best team in the, in the league in between both boxes. And then in both boxes, when we're not where we need to be. So, you know, that, and that's Pit Mars is the first half where we've had some really good opportunities. He scored two good goals, to be fair. Um, but then can we be ruthless and, and really finish teams off? And we didn't do that, so we left the door open at 2-1 and then obviously we've ended up getting a draw. And another youngster, Oli Holbert, came on towards the end on loan from Bristol Rovers. Could have snatched a goal right at the death. Yeah, um, you know, he scored a lot of goals last year. I think he's got 14 and 23, I think. So he's a, he's a natural finisher. Um, he was in with us Thursday training. Um, and yeah, he, he, he could have been a hero early doors. But yeah, I mean, it's it's frustrating because, you know, at the end of the day, we've, we've not won. But, you know, we've got to go, heads up, go again. Again, we're unbeaten away from home, which is, you know, you take positives from things, regardless of the opposition, we're still unbeaten away from home. Now we've got to go at home where we've not won and go and we'll get a win. And that's, just, that's what the supporters will be looking for now, whoever the opposition are, just to get that first home victory under your belt. Yeah, look, I know supporters are disappointed at the moment and angry. You know, I spoke to a supporter there and he's shouting at me, oh, where's the passion? You know, let's be honest about it. Our teams are always our passion, they always work hard. They want to play for the football club. And, you know, at the end of the day, we're frustrated. I'm frustrated. You know, it hurts me more than anyone else right now that we've not got a win. You know, I'm probably not the nicest person at home at the moment. And, you know, this club means the world to me. Um, so I feel like I'm, I've let the, the team down, the club down, my family down for not getting wins. But we will get wins. We will build. We will keep going from strength to strength. And we'll start climbing up the table. I know it's an FA Cup game. But we'll be where we need to be. So it's a work in progress. We've said that. We've said it's going to be a project. And we're going to be where we need to be. Look, at the end of the day, since I've been at the football club, we've won games of football. So this is my first period as a manager where we've not won games of football. But we will turn it around. We will double down. We'll work extra hard to make sure we turn it around and we start winning games. You obviously, you've got bodies within the squad now. Is it a question of getting each sort of slot tied down? Look, we've got, we've got to be real about it. You know, I spoke to lads in there. We've got to start standing up and doing our jobs. So we have got bodies in, in, in the team. You know, we are working with what we've got. But if people are not doing it, football is football. 
then we're going to have to move on and get people in that will do it. So at the moment, we've got a great group. We've got a good bunch. They're honest lads. They're making mistakes at the moment. And I think sometimes when you go on a bit of a run where you've made mistakes, you get a bit nervy. But we've got to turn it around and turn it around quick. So, you know, that's what we'll be looking to do. I suppose the positive is you're still in the hat. Look, these games are banana skins. I've played in these games all through my career. And you come here and it's like it is, bobbly. It's, it's their cup final. You come and you end up getting turned over. And one thing I would say when you talk about being positives is we've come and we've got a 2-2 draw back at Acre Street. Our fans kicking down the hill to go and win, to go and win, to get into the next round of the FA Cup. So although we'd like a win today, again, it's great for the club. It's great that the fans can come in now on Saturday when they've not watched much football and get another tie. Thanks for your time. No problem.